What's your stock standard answer every year when this North Melbourne to Tassie story comes around? What's your, <laughs> what's your stock answer you normally go with? Um, look, to be honest, I, I'm, I'm actually... I'm, I'm still writing for The Age. Um, I'm going to write about it uh, for Friday's paper, but quite simply, I'll, I'll say that the kangaroos have tried everything over the years, let's be honest. We tried to go to Sydney... Um, when obviously the, the Swans are already up there. We tried to be the second team. Now there's GWS. We tried to go to Canberra. Now there's GWS out of Canberra. So we've, we've tried to do a lot of different things. We've always been the first to try things. But um, I, will, I will say that I am writing about that, so I'll leave, um, I'll leave the good stuff for my article. But I'm, I'm very passionate about it, and you might be surprised what I write on Friday. It's obviously a topic that got brought up last night. And, uh, and and uh, when you when you've got a lot of time on your hands and you go for a walk and a, and a run, it gives you a lot of time to think. Um, I've probably never been one, Dwayne, to 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 really be a football person after I retired. But I sort of got thinking and thought it'd be really sad if you know Carter and and Charlotte and Ella and and you know my stepson Van didn't get to see the club that I played at and it wasn't. The, the, the same club that I played at, so it'd probably be disappointing. Baseless garbage was what James Brayshaw oh, said today yeah. about Carolyn Wilson's speculation, and it was speculation that some CEOs say that North Melbourne should move down to Tasmania. Here are the facts. 11 of 12 profits, 650,000 debt, which would have been wiped off. A profit last year, which was uh, resulted in, despite them having to make significant payouts to Brad Scott and also Carl Delina. Imagine if Gillan McLaughlin used up all the political capital that he had in the last couple of weeks to say, OK, we tried to get you to the Gold Coast, now we're getting you down there. It's just not going to happen. And it just seemed to me to be just fear-mongering of the worst kind when Gillan McLaughlin on the weekend said, no, it's not happening. Can, you, can I ask you what you, you thought about it? What I thought? Oh, look, I was disappointed. It was probably one of those stories that... It didn't really come from the AFL. It hasn't really come from any North Melbourne angle. So why are we discussing it? I, mean, I don't really care what someone thinks mm. at another club. But, you know, at the front of mine at the moment is the salary cap. And I want mm -hmm. to talk to Wayne about this because this has been something that's been close to his heart okay. for but a long period bottom, of time. Bottom line, though, Wayne, you're against it. That's the bottom line. And we, we will read your article in The Age. Yeah, I, yeah. look, I am against it. Yes, yep. I am, obviously. And, and look, we've, we've tried everything at the Kangaroos. And for whatever reason... Um, the Kangaroos, North Melbourne, first name to get bought up when, when you're talking about, you know, going somewhere else. It's, it's very unfortunate. And a lot of questions, Dwayne, when you have to go playing as a second team out of Sydney and out of um, Canberra is to meet the salary cap needs. Right. And they were under stress back in the day, <laughs> right. back in the mid-90s, largely because of the guy we're talking to <laughs> right now... And fair enough. Uh, oh, damn well, straight. I'm just, saying, I'm just sort of easing into a nice little soft one, Dwayne. <laughs> Do you think, when you look back now, Dwayne... Uh, sorry, Wayne, what you did to the rest of the list was criminal financially <laughs> because you took it all. You know what I've just realised? There's only one worse name than Wayne, and it's Dwayne. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, Kingy, I must admit, I never felt any guilt at all <laughs> about, uh, about that. But, I, as you know, I mean, we've, the kangaroos have always done it tough. I don't know how many times, and I know it's been a big issue, obviously, in the, in the, in the last couple of weeks, but... How many times we got asked to take pay cuts? Um, we're always, um, you know, first to go in there and say, look, if it, if it means that this club continues on and we've still got, you know, we can still play footy, then obviously we were, we're all very keen and, and, and we all did it on many occasions. And actual fact, Kingy, as you, you would remember, I think your first year was 94. Um, very hard to get paid at some times with the kangaroo. Steve Riga was very shrewd. <laughs> um, and if you didn't play a good game... He didn't want to pay you. So <laughs> um, that's maybe why... That's, that's probably the reason why you, you wanted to play well most weeks, so you could go in and get paid with a smile. Now, Ralphie, mm -hmm. he, he left out that he'd get paid once a month, Wayne, be a little check in a little envelope, <laughs> and he'd walk through the rooms, rooms <laughs> waving it, and he'd say, I wouldn't go in there today, boys. There's a bit of stress, there's a bit of stress on in the back office. <laughs> I, uh... funny, funny, I can't believe you remember stuff like that, Kingy, but I did used to do that every day. <laughs> once a month. Now, Wayne, uh, football's been <laughs> shut down. Minor inconvenience. Big consideration, Vegas has been shut down. I know yes. it's your favourite place. Mm. Now, legendary stories <laughs> that you would effectively pick up the tab for the five or ten, you know, worst paid players on the list. Why was it so important to you? And just give us 24 hours now if you could just dream about where you'd like to be in Vegas in the uh, itinerary. 
Well, I've, I felt a little bit guilty because it, it was meant to be a vote um, <laughs> in terms of where we went. And the vote always went my way somehow. <laughs> I don't know why. And so, therefore, the guys that obviously couldn't afford it, I, I, I clearly... I, and I always said to them that it'll be, it'll be the cheapest trip you ever go on. You get to see the world. And, and, if, you, and if you are at the end of the trip or if there's any time during the trip you need anything, you know, there's... And, and Glenn Archer was the same and, and Steve-O and... And I'm sure, Kingy, did you ever kick in, Kingy? No, nah, never. No, <laughs> no. Okay, I'm, but but there are always a lot of guys at the club that were, you know, on, on better wages that looked after the young blokes. And I just felt it was really important that all of those guys. And and funnily enough, we always had the best turnout on, on those trips. Unfortunately, they're they're uh, the trips that are no longer, which is a little bit sad for the current players. But um, oh, look, I, I always felt it was really important. And, um, like I said, the fact that I got to go where I wanted to go, I felt I probably had to. Now, we understand there was a time where every single one of the rooms was put onto your bill. You might have found a way for it to be comped. <laughs> and every uh, beer that was drunk at the uh, bar, you found a way to comp that as well. So the boys, I think they would have enjoyed that. Yeah, well, well, obviously, if you gamble, gamble responsibly. Um, <laughs> and, oh, well. <laughs> and, and if you do, do it with bed easy, by the way. Um, <laughs> but, but, but do it responsibly. Um, no, look, and, and you know, they, they, as, as you guys know, they're the perks over there. And um, if, you, you know, if you are sort of on the tables and having a little bit of fun, they, they look after you. And um, they looked after us a couple of times. <laughs> hey, Wayne, on a serious one... How many times through the 90s did other clubs come at you to try and poach you from the Kangaroos? Uh, there was only one serious um, occasion where I nearly left, and that was to go to Adelaide when they formed. So when was that? 91. Um, I think it was... I, I got a little bit homesick. When I say homesick, I'm a, a wogga wogga boy, but um, went to Adelaide for a few years, had a lot of school friends. My family were, were all still um, in Adelaide, so I wanted to go home at one point. <laughs> Um, and then, funnily enough, well, not funnily enough, I guess, the footy gods, I did my shoulder. Uh, Ron Joseph uh, said in no uncertain terms that if I did go home and go to the Crows, then uh, at that time it was North Adelaide and then the Crows formed, so it would have been then on to the Crows. Uh, he said that I wouldn't be paid and I would have had to sit out of footy. And I actually thank Ron for, for being strong with me and saying don't go because things would have been uh, obviously a lot different. So very thankful that Ron was... Strong, and I was under contract, so probably uh, not the right thing to do anyway. Hypothetical, if the Kangaroos were in Tasmania at that stage right. and clubs were coming to poach you, would they have been able to drag you out of a, a Tasmanian type setup rather than the setup you had at Arden Street? No, 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 quite simply. And, and you know this, Kingy, when you got to the club, you you, you know, you walk straight in. I'm, I, I, I hope that you felt comfortable straight away, and I think we created an environment that. Um, you know, new kids, young kids came in and, uh, and no-one was scared to have a crack. I know people think that, you know, uh, myself and others were, were untouchable or you couldn't, you, you couldn't say things to us. Tell you what, a kid would be there for five minutes and be hanging crap on me about my running style <laughs> or my, on my uh, perm. By the way, that was natural curl back yeah. in the early 90s. He got, they, most of those kids got delisted before the Christmas <laughs> break arrived. <laughs> Hey, so yeah. it was it was a it was a great environment, as you well, know, Kingy. Yeah. So that's what we tried to create, and, and 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 I think once you create that, and I think we see it a lot. We see so many players, and we've seen you know we've seen Mark Murphy recently, and and others do it. They they want to stay at the one club that they've played their whole career at.